Here's a simple three-step threat hunting methodology that you can use to guide structured threat hunts. Step one is really more of a prerequisite, and that's to come up with a hypothesis. We can't just aimlessly search around our data and hope that we find something interesting. That's how we lose focus and fall into rabbit holes. We need to have some semblance of what we're trying to answer before we go off hunting. And various frameworks like the MITRE ATT&CK framework can help us out here. In my case, I believe that adversaries are leveraging command and scripting interpreters like Command Line and PowerShell to execute arbitrary commands in the network. That now becomes the hypothesis that I'm seeking to prove or disprove using the data. And that leads us to step two. What evidence sources can we query to answer our investigative questions? And this is really just a matter of having adequate visibility into our network. If we're hunting for network-based attacks, we might be more focused on flow record or packet capture data. If we're hunting on the endpoint, we might turn to event logs and registry configurations. Fortunately, in this case, I have access to Sysmon logs, which will conveniently give me detailed information about process executions on various hosts. And finally, we have step three, which is to transform and manipulate the data in such a way that allows us to find evil. For instance, I'll build up a search query in Splunk to target Sysmon logs, specifically filtering for event code one or those process create events. I'll search for any instances of PowerShell or CMD in the command line values and filter out some of the noise from other security tools. Lastly, I'll build out a table to print out our results. And just like that, we're narrowing down hundreds of thousands of events into just a few potentially interesting ones. For example, this process event is using WScript to execute a suspicious temp file, potentially running some malicious Visual Basic. I might want to take that indicator and pivot off of it and zoom into this endpoint now. In fact, here's a heavily obfuscated piece of VB script that's likely part of a malicious payload or a download cradle. And it was launched by Microsoft Word, and so I'm highly suspicious of this process. Additionally, down here looks like we have some evidence of a web shell being abused on this server to run commands through the PHP CGI executable. If we wanted to, we could even go a step farther and look at suspicious parent-child process relationships. For example, a winword.exe process spawning CMD or PowerShell, which is unusual and could be indicative of macro-based malware execution. And again, there's something worth investigating. The beauty of this methodology is that the opportunities really open up here. We're only limited by the telemetry available to us and the creativity that we apply to shaping it. If you want to learn more about threat hunting and investigating endpoints, check out some of the TCM Security Academy courses, where we're currently having a summer sale up until the end of June.